Hi all, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a short tutorial to teach you how to save and load your image classifier with React Native and TensorFlow. So previously, I have did a tutorial to teach you how to train and deploy your model using the KNN classifier in order to classify your images into class A and class B and class C. So after I did that video, a lot of my subscribers asked me to do a video on how to save and reload the train model on React Native and TensorFlow. So I've decided to do this video and here it is. Okay, so the question is, why do you need to learn this? So firstly, on real life application, you do not expect your users to retrain the model every time the application restarts. So the workflow should be like train, save and reload the model once the application starts up so that your model will get smarter every time you train it and not go back to ground zero after the application restarts. And next, unlike other models, for the KN classifier, it doesn't have a simple function to save its state. So what we have to do is to create our own custom function in order to save it. So for this, it's a little bit complicated because it's not well documented. But no worries, I'll be going through the step on the later slides. Okay, so here are the steps to save and load your model. There are five simple steps. First, we need to collect the data set and convert it from JSON format to string format and we will save it into a text file. And to load it, we just need to reverse the steps. We read from the text file, convert it from string format to JSON format and lastly, use the JSON format data set to load our model. And you can see, Instead of saving the KN classifier, we are actually saving the data set itself. So unlike other models such as deep neural net, convolution neural net and so on and so forth, KN classifier doesn't allow you to save the model itself. So instead, what we need to do is to save the data set and load this data set into the KN classifier once it starts up. So one good thing about KN classifier is that it trains very fast, so the latency during the startup is minimal. Okay, so here are the prerequisites that you should have before starting. I'll put the link to the code down in the description box below. So in the future, if there's any update, I'll update there too. So to access the code, it's very simple. You just copy and paste this link. It will bring you to the GitHub repository. So in order to download my code, you just need to click here and click download zip or you can open up in your github desktop okay so after downloading the file go to app.js double click it and open it up now Control f and find part 2 so for part 2 i will teach you how to save and load your model and as you can see all the steps are commented and now let's go through it okay so first we need to convert the data set from json to string using the json.swingg file so over here we will convert it and next, we will be saving the data set in the local file in a string format. So we'll be using the file system write as string function. Now, in order to load the data set, we will use the file system read as string function and we will get the data set in string format. And next, we need to convert the string format to JSON format using json.parse. So after doing so, we will be able to load it to our KN classifier. Okay, so now allow me to demonstrate how the application will work. Okay, so to start up the application is very simple. You just need to key in npm start and you will be able to access it through your mobile phone and do make sure that you download the Expo app on your phone in order to access it. Okay, so once you start the app, uh, you can start collecting your data set by clicking the class A, class B and class C button. So for myself, class A is GoPro. So when I click it, you will start training the model. Whereas class B is a thermometer. So when I click it, it will change the model again. And lastly, class C is a highlighter. So after you collect the data set, you can try to test it out, see whether it works or not. So here, it should predict as class B. So the model has been trained. So what you need to do is to save your model by clicking the button. So once it's saved, you can try to reset the model. Everything will become zero and you cannot predict anymore. Okay, so now click this button, load model. And you can see the model will be reloaded within less than a second. And to try it out, we can try it on GoPro and it should predict it as class A. Okay, so with this, I have come to the end of my tutorial. Thank you for your time. If you like my videos, do remember to like, share and subscribe.